Hello, it's Mrs Cullen here, Dance Subject Lead at Folkestone Academy. And today we're celebrating International Dance Day. Today strives to encourage participation and education, which takes place all over the world. International Dance Day is celebrated every year on April 29th. This global celebration was started in 1982 by the Dance Committee of the International Theatre Institute. April the 29th was chosen for this celebration as Jean-Georges Novaire, the creator of modern ballet, was born on this day in 1727. The day is observed to celebrate dance, revel in the versatility of the art form across all political, cultural and ethnic barriers and bring people together with a common dance language. Every year on this day, a gala is also organized in a chosen city. In 2017, it was held in China, and in 2018, it was held in Cuba. More recently, the event has had to be celebrated virtually. Dance has been part of the human culture since the very earliest communities and civilizations with recorded evidence of dance being found dating back 9,000 years ago. Since then, different dances have changed and evolved into what we know today as the most well-known dance genres. Some of the most popular types of dance at Folkestone Academy are ballet, contemporary, hip-hop and jazz dance. Ballet dance originated in the Renaissance court in Italy before evolving in France and Russia into a concert dance meant for public performance. Ballet was choreographed to classical music. It was royal money that dictated the ideas, literature and music used in ballets that were created primarily to entertain the aristocrats of the time. Another popular style is contemporary dance. It developed during the mid 20th century and is now one of the most popular and technical forms of dance studied and performed professionally, especially in America and Europe. One of our students' favorite styles is hip-hop dance. Hip-hop dancing refers to a range of street dancers that developed in response to hip-hop music and culture. Hip-hop dancing dates back to the early 1970s in New York, evolving out of fun, and development of dancing to the DJ's breakbeats in their music. Another popular dance style is jazz. Jazz dance dates back to the 17th century. Jazz came out of Africa. It was imported to America within the slave trade. Jazz is known for its improvisational and dramatic body movements. It grew in popularity in the early 20th century in jazz clubs. There are so many reasons why dance is good for you. It is a great way to exercise and keep fit. It can help to improve your health through cardiovascular fitness, strengthening your muscles, increasing circulation, decreasing blood pressure, reducing stress, just to name a few. It also helps to improve control over your body, timing and coordination skills. Dance helps to build confidence. It can raise your spirits and lighten your mood. Dance is good for your mind. It can help improve circulation to the brain and help stimulate your memory. One of the reasons dance is such a great form of fitness is because it incorporates movement on all planes of motion from all directions. Movements that we typically do in our daily life, like walking, taking the stairs and common workouts, they occur in the sagittal plane. But dance works your body from all planes, including lateral and rotational, which turns on and conditions all muscles, meaning no muscle is left behind. This type of movement not only increases strength, it also improves balance. Not only does dance allow us to get our energy out, it's also a great way to express ourselves. One of the greatest things about dance is that anyone can participate. If you're able to move, even if it's only your upper body, you can dance. 
on our Academy website today, look out for my 10 minute salsa workout, which you can follow along and get involved. I have also shared a rare throwback to my international dance tour back in 2008. I will leave you with this question. What have you learned about dance today?